Not long ago, a top-ranking U.S. general said Americans must be ready to fight and die for Israel. So you might be asking yourself, why? Why would we send American soldiers to die in Israel? A friend of mine reminded me of this today, actually, this General Clark. Uh, you're probably smart enough to wonder, um, by now you are, what's the real reason that the United States and Israel are taking over Gaza? Is it really about Hamas, as neocons and Netanyahu would have us believe, or is Hamas the perfect cover to seize control of massive natural gas deposits that Palestinians own and control offshore, right of right uh, off the shore of Gaza and the Gaza Strip? Call me cynical, but I have heard this story before. Western power is using the cover of terrorism to seize control over massive oil and gas resources and oceanfront property so they can build ports. There's a reason we don't give a shit about landlocked Afghanistan, uh, but we are building a second military base in Iraq, and where we're building that military base is right on or right next to uh, Iraqi oil fields. So, of course, I thought we weren't in Iraq anymore. Like, why? And we're now building a second base, but this time it's right near oil fields. So we need to make sure we have control of that oil. Last week... Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was asked, you know, how long will Israeli forces occupy Gaza after it's been destroyed? His response wasn't a surprise to me at all or anybody watching this show, I'm sure. Watch.